What's up guys? I'm at the Overland Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona. I got Brian here. He's going to tell you about an awesome camper that I think is probably one of the best because of this right here. But we'll let you do all the talking. Okay. Go for <laughs> it. the only solid wall pop-up. Been around since the 50s. Uh, cab over design. The doors fold in. These are all insulated panels. They fold in. And then the top comes all the way down and rides here. So we're dropping down about 22 inches all the way down for so travel. Low center, low center of gravity. No wind. Low wind, better mileage, safer drive. Nice. Uh, but when we're raised up, we have six foot three and a quarter interior. That is and awesome. And this is great for those windy days like today. Oh, yeah. Huh? yeah. These are solid. Yep. Let's go take a look uh, on the inside. So I'm assuming that they come in all different shapes all and sizes, right? This is our smaller one, kind okay, of designed for a half ton, F-150, stuff like that. Okay. Um, six and a half, we make sevens, eights, eight and a half, and tens. Wow, look how nice it is in here. This, this is, is all beautiful. Wilson Art laminate. Um, tough stuff. Very tough. <laughs> Table stores up on the ceiling, up out of the way if you don't want. So we have sleeping for two here. This does drop down into a little single bed. Oh, okay, so, here. Yep. so you could fit two, maybe two three. Here. This is, yeah, two here. You could go three. Three, okay. Um, on this model, we have a 15-gallon water, but on all the other Alaskans, it's 27 gallons of water. Nice. Um, try to give storage wherever, overheads. Tons of storage. Tip-out trays. A lot of storage. Obviously, uh, you have a sink and here. two burner stove. Yep, we can do two burner, three burner oven, um, all wood dovetail drawers. Nice. And we actually have a toilet. That's that's, right. that's really cool right here because here. you don't have to leave. You just go right here. A little swivel bowl. Boom. That's awesome. And then uh, right over there is a fridge as well. Yep, got a fridge. This Everything you need. Yeah, in a small furnace, compact 20,000 BTU forced air furnace. Nice. And you got said the, the, the headroom in here is six three and a quarter. Six, six three. One. Yeah, you got tons of room still. Very cool. And we got roof vents. So we can do air conditioning. Nice, nice. So um, to lift this thing up, it's fairly just easy, like, right? Just push button. Let's see, Literally sir. just. Here, I'll lower it down. Yeah, go for it. Do a little demo. What you do first, drop the panels down. This is this big selling point right here. Now everybody's going to ask, what if it's raining? Well, it doesn't matter because there's rain gutters on the outside and the top is wider than the bottom. Ah. So it would literally have to be blown sideways past this or yeah. anything. It'll just go back here. Hit the button and raise it up a little bit. There's a button right there. That just takes the pressure off these. Oh, I see. you got to take the pressure off. So and let's, let's watch this go this down. Out. All right, all clear. Coming down. Look at that. So wait. <laughs> yeah, just gravity coming down. There's flow control valves now, so I right now I have control over the front end. Um, I can drop it faster or slower, and then on the way up, we have control over the rear. Then we have a double, kind of like a Dutch door. So this is what gives us the full height in a pop-up. Yeah. When the top's up, we have a full-size entry door. And since I got you, you might as well show us how to put it up. Then, yeah. Look at that. Easy peasy. You just show up to the campsite, hit the button, and you're camping. Should be done about a minute and a half from when I just started to sit down. Practical one. What? And if you guys missed it, he said you can actually put a rack up here and carry a canoe if you want to, or a bicycle, huh? Not too much, but just enough to get some fun toys up there. There you go, 300 pounds. And then once this thing gets all the way to the top. Yeah, then what we'll do, it'll, it hits mechanical stops, so it can't go up too high. Then I'll go in and I'll put each one of those safety keys in each one of the cylinders. Then I'll relax it, I'll lower it down an inch or so onto those, and then everything's level. And then you just go up and fold up the cab over doors. So you're going to put that in for safety. Look at that. You get all the comfort of a of a hard side, hard side but in a folding one. Yeah. And you're done. Just like that. Very cool. So guys watching this video are probably gonna be asking, how much is this awesome camper? Ballpark, well, ballpark figures. Ballpark thirty one thousand. Oh, here we go. Six and a half. So thirty one thousand and then yep. goes up from there, right? Yep. 
and on our website we post the prices, options, and everything. It's just www.alaskancampers.com. Very cool. We're factory direct. Um, we do all the install and everything as part of part of the price, and uh, mm. give you a tour when you're there. It's full of propane water, ready to go. Awesome. Well, thank you for the awesome uh, video tour. Appreciate it, sir. You bet. Have a great day. You too. So here's a view of the bigger version of the Alaskan camper. This one has a three burner stove, sink, fridge. There's your toilet right underneath there. And then you have a bigger seating area for your table that folds down into a bed. So I'm assuming two kids could fit here easily. And then uh, that full size, what is that? A queen size bed over there. If I was gonna buy a camper this might be the one I'd like to buy. Probably has the best toilet I've ever seen. I mean, you can't tell it's there, but when you need it, it's right there. That's cool. Mm -hmm.